OSI, the full form is Open System Interconnection. It is a method, it is a concept, or we can say it's a theory. It was developed in 1984 by an organization called International Organization for Standardization. It has seven layers, application, presentation, session, transport, network, detailing, and physical layer. Main goals of OSI. Why OSI was created or what are the advantages? 1. It makes you understand that how network works. 2. Troubleshooting of network become easy. 3. Different types of hardware and software product of different companies can work with each other properly. It makes you understand that how network works. Example, without OSI, it was difficult to know how the network works. But with OSI, it gives you a clear concept that you will know how the network works. Troubleshooting of network become easy. Without OSI, it is difficult to know how to stop troubleshooting. But with OSI, it helps you where is the problem and where you have to stop troubleshooting. Different types of hardware and software product of different companies can work with each other. Example, without OSI, we had two companies, suppose Cisco and HP. So, both of them, they had different types of hardware and software devices for network communication. So, if HP want to communicate with Cisco, because they have different hardware and software, so it was difficult to make them communicate with each other. But when OSI was created, it find a compatibility between their hardware and software, so they easily can communicate with each other.